there's just a lot of scrappers in the area so uh, we'll see how we go set top box oh. actually that's a nice Kenwood solid state amplifier that's actually uh, that's a good one still got the cord Yeah, that's, that's actually really nice. Front seat. Hey, PC. <laughs> that's a cool little thing. Dell Core 2 Duo. Yay! Poor stroke. Don't it's like you might as well have a garage sale out here, buddy. No, having, I don't want to have a garage sale because I don't want people coming around yeah. and giving you two dollars and Yeah, that's I, right. I just don't want the stress of that. <laughs> yeah. I don't need the stress Thank of it. Put uh, it that way. Yeah. As I said, you can take anything you like. Don't spread it around. No, that's it. No, I try and be as clean as possible. I just I'll take your computer here right, okay. and uh, oh well we've got another PC it's mostly scrapped out it's got no hard drive but it's still got a little motherboard in there and CPU this one's good this one's got four RAM sticks they wouldn't be that good I don't think one gigabyte no good to me. Still got a slot card. I'll call that two PCs. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, just about to grab it was I was looking at that and another bloke I was like, can I grab the wider saw stand? Beautiful. And then he changed his mind, so yeah. Yeah, good on I you. Am. I'm oh. sure I can make the use of it. Absolutely. Oh. Hey, there's an old vintage. Wow, two PCs. Hey, look at that. Compact, Pentium 3. Whoa, that's a good one. Gaming. Hey, we like our gaming PCs. <laughs> oh, motherboards. Ram. Our mate just going through all your all goodies. Good, mate. All good. Any old PC stuff, cards. I like this stuff. Fair enough. Before it gets thrown into landfill, I might as well do something with it. Oh, motherboard. Vintage hardware. Wow, what a, what a pickup. Ram. Hey, we got a gaming PC. Power supply. Zip drive. Ram. Ram. More ram. Oh, whole bag of cable. Wow. Oh, that's a nice gamer. But that vintage one, that, that takes the cake. Wow, look at those gold pins. Wow. 
my touch guy. Um, the motor. Keep dropping. Awesome. Excellent. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to come back. <coughs> I think he's still putting stuff out, so... I'll come back to that one, but wow! Even the other guy got a couple of really good pieces of uh, tools. I think it was a big plane or something. Wow! That was awesome. Two PCs and all those motherboards and slot cards, RAM, cable, but one of them was a gaming PC and one of them is that old vintage compact, which I'm really happy with. I love my vintage stuff. Wow, that was a good one. I'm glad I turned into that street. Because there's so many streets, it's hit and miss. Some streets you turn into, some you think, oh nah. I'll go left instead of right and... Um, but it's, it's all about just luck and timing. The right time at the right place before someone else gets to it. Well, we've got rain, so you know what that means. Separates the men from the boys. <laughs> oh, yes. Vintage. Super vintage PC. 486DX4. Wow. Hey. That's, that's two vintage PCs. Awesome. <laughs> There's a set top box. Everything's getting really nice and wet now. Hey, little modems. Wow, that was a cool PC. Your hands full. Uh, wow. Just got to have a look, just in case. There's Uh, that'll do. Wow. I'm happy with that PC. Apex. Wow, that's as old as it gets. Yeah. It's got the motherboard, everything in there. A nice 486 CPU. Don't get that many. Uh, very often, anyway. More scrappers. G'day. Hey, right. Good, thanks. I don't want to jump in your pile till no, you're... No, going for, go it. for it. Go for it. Oh, good. Just looking at these old kind of electronic things. Yeah. I think oh, yeah. they've been pretty well read them. Yeah. <laughs> this is a time to come out when everyone, you know, separates the men from the boys, as they say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's... Um... <laughs> hey, man. Because they work perfectly. Uh, mainly after I'm after electronics, you're close. Oh, yeah. Sort of oddballs. That's a good collectible right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that something goes with that too. 
What was it like a gaming kind of thing? It was an old computer that Telecom used to use. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, collectible. Even yeah. For parts, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that's, this, yeah, I love this sort of stuff. Of, yeah. Fantastic, man. <laughs> you interested in that? Nah, go for it. You sure? Okay. I'll grab that. Wow. Look at that. It's a vintage old computer. Look, he even showed me this slot card. It's got a special card for it. ROM pack with exchange. 1984. Wow, that's that's as vintage as you get. Oh, front seat. That one and this. I just seen the circuit boards. Wow. Oh, it's a little CRT. Oh, that's all right. I'll get the circuit boards out of it. I'll get a bit of copper. But this ROM card, I can just see the EEPROMs in there are awesome. Really vintage. I'm going to keep looking. But, wow, that's an old school PC. <laughs> all good, man. Anything electrical I'll take. That's all I got. What are these lights? Oh, strobe lights. Strobe, yeah. Oh yeah. Not sure if they work. Yeah, nah, no worries. Right, Thanks man. See what else he's got in there. Vintage category. Oh, grouse. I love these little things. A little TV. I'll keep that. Bit of brass in there, I reckon. there too oh, I keep these little TVs I like old CRTs huh. the box is sort of collapsed Pick some cords. The phone. Well, that's heavy. That's brass. Well, I'm glad he showed me the um, the slot card that goes into that vintage PC. Huh. Strange. That'll do me here. Oh, I'm dropping things. Oh well.
uh, Swan. I might already have uh, one of these. Uh, the box isn't any good, but it's new. But this old PC, well, there's going to be super gold recovery in here, but uh, yeah, I want to see if it's possible to look it up. ICL Sinclair Systems Made in the UK Wow That's uh, A very old computer I thought it might have been an old uh, Gaming console But no Definitely uh, Some kind of computer all right. Yeah, bring on this rain. <laughs> I feel like a duck. Yeah, quack quack. <laughs> yeah, all this kind of stuff's all kind of been gone through. You can just see. Except. No one wants modems. Now it's kind of a shame when you're finding uh, like vintage stuff that's good for to keep because uh, it's quite solid rain and so everything gets too wet to uh, do anything with it's mostly for gold recovery now at this point Okay, well I had to come back home because it started raining so hard that I couldn't see anything um, out on the street anymore so I thought well it's gonna rain that hard I might as well just head back and just um, be satisfied with what I got I really wanted to uh, stay out there for another hour or so because I just had a good feeling at this area but I had to go uh, so Today it's not so bad, but the problem with the video is uh, I've been having trouble with my uh, microphone and it's been squelching out and so unfortunately this video is cut really short because uh, a lot of it there was no sound so it it would be pretty silly to just uh, record the video with no sound and other parts it was just squelching out so bad that it was really annoying so um, all I could salvage was what you you just saw in the video that's the only video I could get that had some sound and uh, and it wasn't really distorted so I'm going to have to I can't do much with these GoPros um, there's something uh, damaged inside the microphone jack so i've just got to wait until the new gopro comes out and i think they're gonna have a different microphone thing so it's going to be uh, a little bit better so for the next few videos i'm just using the actual camera microphone uh, so it's a little bit different sound and it's no good in uh, wind so uh, like right now it's a little bit windy out here not that much but you could probably hear that wind come through so anyway unfortunately for the next few videos that's how it's going to be uh, I'll do the best I can until the new camera comes out 
and uh, yeah because I just can't uh, I thought I had it worked out and I thought I, I, I put blue tack in the microphone and I packed it in so it wasn't going to move around the camera but when I started the video the first hour or half an hour at least of recording it was there was no sound whatsoever so and then it was just dribs and drabs but that's okay uh i didn't get a whole lot it was only about an hour or so but hey i did score some awesome pcs you know i got this imp ipex 486 dx4 so what i'm going to do is probably going to open up these uh vintage ones because they're too dirty and ratty to uh uh, keep or anything like that and I think I've already got an IPEX in my collection and I've certainly got a little compact like that in my collection so for now I'm just going to um, yeah to um, make this video a little bit longer and a bit interesting I might as well scrap out a few of the items that I got I'll just take out my PCs and any goods this is what I thought was a, a gamer it looks okay Usually the gamers have the clear, but uh, yeah, it's probably uh, getting on. We'll have a little look at that. This one I was really happy with. It's, uh, it's got the uh, Pentium 3 inside, probably a, a slot CPU. Not a bad one, but uh, yeah, I've already got a, one of these in my collection and i don't really collect compact anyway i'd rather have a look at what the components are and if they're anything special i'd rather sell them like as they are uh, this is that dell i think it was the first pc that i got that was a good one and and yeah a whole bunch of those motherboards when I got that Gamer and the uh, Compaq yeah I was really surprised to see all those motherboards uh, um, I'll go around it's gonna be windy yeah I've just got to hide from the actual wind <coughs> so yeah so that was a real bonus all these motherboards and I got slot cards, RAM sticks, uh, that was a really good one, uh, you, you didn't see in the video, but I did pick up two batteries, two lead acid batteries, which was pretty good, uh, I got these blower vacs, because a friend of mine wants, wants them, he wants to repair them, to um, get a good one, so I got him a couple of blower vacs, just for his own thing, and I want to get out that computer this computer uh, where's the little bits I'll have to find a plastic bit now uh, there's that slot card so that was the ROM pack with exchange so 1984 Sion Limited I just can see the EEPROMs in there are awesome, so very vintage EEPROMs. I'm going to have to look this up before I do anything with it. Uh, yeah, ICL Sinclair. So uh, really, really nice. Um, I mean, it's, it's not in the best condition, and as you saw, it was kind of out in the rain. But uh, it'd be interesting, uh, once I check it out, I want to see what the motherboard actually looks like in this. Uh, looks like it had a telephone sitting on here. Where they probably dialed through, dialed into the internet at the time. And yeah, the other thing that I'm really happy with is this Kenwood Solid State Stereo Amp. TK250 gonna have to look that up and see if it's um, kind of collectible I mean Kenwood's a good brand and it's uh, you know it's got all the dials and everything here 
it might be it's really really heavy it might be um, uh, collectible and uh, at least I, I beat the cord cutters they didn't come along and cut the cord so at least I got the cord if it is a good model I can at least power it up and see if it actually works and that little TV that I got but for now I just want to bring in this And uh, yeah, yeah, before I, I'm still missing that cover that's somewhere in the van. But I'd love to know if there's any stats. Yeah, it actually looks like, sure, it's, it's a computer, but it actually looks like a telephone system. Because that's pretty, I'm pretty sure that's where the, the handset sits. And, um, you can just see list recall auto speaker last redial so it's a it's an old you know probably sitting at the front at the receptionist office or something like that or a call center where they'd uh, you know it was probably connected to a monitor um, yeah but uh, it looks like there's a pretty decent motherboard in there and uh, can't wait to uh, find out what it is and if it's uh, not worth well it's not going to be worth anything in this condition it doesn't have the handset and um, a bit manky but you never know the IC chips and the EEPROMs they might be uh, you know useful for other things so yeah, I was really disappointed when I went to edit this video. Uh, you're gonna probably hear wind now. But yeah, as I was editing the video, the, the first clip, oh, no sound. The second clip, I think it was the first eight clips had no sound. <laughs> so what do you do? Um, some, sometimes I lose a clip or two, but uh, it's never been as bad as this. So I only took these because the the guy was standing at the front. I, I just wanted the cables, but I didn't want to sit there and cut the cords. And I also got from the same place of the vintage. Got this very old little CRT monitor, but some pretty good uh, circuit boards here it's another EEPROM here you know quite quite old oh, I'll get into that uh, that might have been the first thing you saw right on in the video V amp so I've got foot pedals uh, might be like For a drum kit or yeah it's definitely like a little amplifier it's got fx ping pong and cathedral chorus little adjuster interesting all right uh, yeah so i'm just going to empty out not much here so i cut some cords and stuff but i was really disappointed it started raining so much i would have been out there having a lot of fun for quite some time but it's, it's okay I'll just finish out the video by sc scrapping some stuff out at least I got uh, yeah that was pretty amazing little pickup I, I didn't get a chance I lost my way so I didn't know where that place was where I got all these motherboards and uh, the compact so I didn't get a chance to go back you know because I, I I the guy was um, he was leaving out he had a few boxes in his veranda and uh, so I, was, I thought maybe he's holding out on me oh well and I thought if I got if I went back in half an hour or so I might have 
scored some more good stuff. All right. Well, I might take these in and uh, just have a look at some of these PCs. That'll be uh, probably the only thing in to uh, add to this video. Okay, well, I've done a little bit of research and uh, this here is actually, it's, it is, uh, as the guy said, it's a telecom phone system. And uh, what it's actually known as is the OPD, uh, one per desk PC. So basically, it, it's like a, um, you know, it's a hybrid PC. It's like a, a telephone kind of system as well as like a little computer. So yeah, it did have a, a telephone here and uh, connects to a monitor and all that. There's a couple on uh, YouTube that uh, people have got, you know, working and so on. So uh, this one here obviously isn't in the best condition. Um, and in there, that's where the main telephone module goes into. Uh, so, but still this ROM pack, I think uh, will be worth just keeping as is and um, see if I can kind of open it up here without doing many much damage. There we go. Yeah, so uh, really awesome ceramic uh, EPROMs here. And yet, dated 1984, 1985. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely keep this as it is. Uh, it's just... Too, uh, too nice of a board. And these EPROMs, you know, might be handy for somebody. Uh, I'll work out how to put this back together. But yeah, so... Um, I don't really want to open it up. It's got the old 8000 series CPU in it and uh, the motherboard, it, it, it's not that spectacular, but it's just something really nice to uh, keep. At least I've got one. It goes to my little vintage collection. I mean, you can't get much more vintage than, um, than a 1984 computer. Uh, there wasn't much more before that. I mean, sure there was, but yep so there we go the OPD I've got one hey and the other thing that I won't scrap out obviously even when I first saw it I saw it's you know a Kenwood solid-state stereo amp the TK250 this is actually um, quite ho uh, highly sought after this uh, surprisingly apparently they're really really good quality and uh, even today's standards there is still a really good quality amplifier and uh, this was made in 1967 so this is 52 years old and it's still in beautiful condition for its age and uh, yeah so really awesome there's no lights or anything apart from one little red light here so there's no real point in trying to plug it in and i prefer not to plug in these really old things uh if i i can avoid it but still tempting to see if the little red light works but um yeah i might just keep it as it is and a really awesome vintage uh amplifier that uh uh, the, the one, the last one that sold, uh, sold for something like three hundred and fifty dollars, and um, so if this is in working condition and so on, it, it, yeah, it, so it's got to be worth at least a couple of hundred bucks. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just some because it's so old, fifty-two years old. Uh, don't find many electronics in uh, condition like this this old these days so yeah i'll keep this one as well okay so the first one i just wanted to have a quick look at was this nice little compact uh, desk pro pentium 3 
Windows 98, nice old school. I do have uh, one of these in my own collection, a, a good, good version. So no point in keeping this one. 20 gigabyte hard drive. Nice. do all these cables okay so yeah the uh, CPU it's uh, it's just a um, green fiber CPU uh, well we've got a back plane board here with some gold fingers not a great deal pretty straightforward I'm guessing uh, this would have been a Probably a cheaper version at the time. Who knows? It might even be upgraded with the CPU. Still, I enjoy my vintage kind of CPU uh, PCs. So um, I'm always happy when I, I pick one up. You don't get them that often anymore. So, every one that I get, uh, it's just a bonus. Just a very old school uh, <laughs> heat sink. Quite unusual, actually. There's really not much to it. Um, it's very just thin plates of aluminium, so... Uh, yeah, but I, I guess because it, it's a green fiber CPU, uh, it, it would uh, send out the heat pretty quickly. Probably wouldn't get that hot as hot as a ceramic CPU would get. But yeah, just a green fiber CPU, gold recovery for the gold pins. That's about it. But uh, yeah, another one to the collection. And just, well, quite a, quite a large motherboard, really. Uh, but I, I dare say it was more of a, a basic model at the time. But really, much easier to uh, pull apart. Oh, just cut myself. Here yeah, I just had to put a band-aid on, but uh, it's usually the most silliest thing that uh, I, I cut myself. You know, it's just a slip of the hand. And yeah, I should wear gloves, but geez, I've done thousands of PCs and stuff. I hardly ever cut myself, but sometimes I do. And uh, well, I just put a band-aid on for a few days and it's gone, so <laughs> that's just uh, the nature of the game. And, um, well, at least we've got three nice little uh, RAM sticks for gold recovery. And there's our CPU. So, yeah, it just looks kind of like uh, a reasonably basic one with the uh, well there's no BGA chip on here so uh, it could have been a BGA chip there if it was more advanced so yeah nothing spectacular but still uh, you know another motherboard to gold recovery so the only other thing I, I want out of this is just because it's got the old style board there and uh, the floppy all I gotta do is just take the gold pins from the floppy drive there that's all I want and just a hard drive will do looks like I have to uh unscrew it, it 
it should should just come out if I pull that out there gotcha <laughs> Seagate nice old 20 gigabyte one quite a nice one but it's just for scrap hard drives This part doesn't want to go down. But that was the old compact. So pretty straightforward, really not a great deal. Got a power supply, hard drive, DVD got a scrap out. Got the three RAM sticks. Little green fiber CPU. They're they're starting to run out too, you know, uh, first we started to see ceramic CPUs going, now we're even starting to see the green, brown and black fibres really disappearing, just getting rarer and rarer. And we've got that back plane board here with some gold fingers that aren't really spectacular, just uh, cheap flashing, but still we'll take that. All right, that was that one. I'll get the other vintage one. Well, before I get to that vintage one, I just wanted to have a look at this one that I thought was a uh, gaming PC when I uh, picked it up. Just have a quick little look to see. Yeah. No, it doesn't really look anything special. Yeah, just pretty straightforward. But since I'm here, I might as well just uh, scrap it out. Just got uh, USB ports, but there's no graphics card in here or anything. Uh, just looked like a gaming PC at the time. What do we got here? There, just 256 megabyte DDR3s. Uh, again, gold recovery. So pretty old. Not as, you know, certainly not as good as the gamer that I got uh, the week before. But I suppose they can't all be great. Yep. Pretty straightforward here. Yeah? break out just the regular old CPU pins even them ones are starting to run out it's all pinless now but yeah it might have been a, a pretty good uh, uh, motherboard at the time oh we've got a nice copper stacker heat sink at least that's a bonus. Take out our little copper slug there. Beautiful. Just take out a couple of DVDs. It's got the old style board with the pins there. This one's done too. So now let's get to that vintage one. Okay. Look at that old bugger. Ipex. I hope there's some stuff still in there. Looks like the motherboard's still in there, so that's the main thing. I'll just... Uh
Okay. All right. Well, it looks like it's still got the CPU in there. Looks like the uh, just a basic network card. Nothing spectacular there. Not even worth taking off these fingers. Just sell it as a network card. Might just get out this power supply. Give us some clear vision. All right. That's an old power supply. Hey. And these old IDE type wire. I like these with the uh, the big plugs there. A little bit better for gold recovery, usually. Some nice gold pins there. We'll do the rest. So there's two on, and then the small ones. Um, Just an old floppy. All I really want is just those pins, really. And just to get to this motherboard, well, that's pretty easy. Virtually just slides out. How's that for an old motherboard? Got the old Amy Bias pin there. I see. Uh, yeah. Obviously not, not a great deal on it. Most of the things have been taken off. We've got a couple of little old rams here. Are they silver or gold? They're stuck. <laughs> Oh yep, yeah. nice gold ones. Uh, and one silver one. So with these silver RAM ones, or tin if you like, I don't bother even keeping these. All I do is I just remove the, the IC chips and put them straight into regular ICs for gold recovery. So even though there's no gold fingers, there's still gold in these IC chips, and I just throw this out now. Nothing, there's no value there, and we just keep our IC chips. I suppose the main thing we want to see here is the actual CPU, and it's a ceramic. Nice. Looks like a 486. Oh, it's got very, it's very creamy, this one. Wow, they put enough of that stuff. Looks like an AMD. Let me just wipe it up. Nice gold plate there. Really nice gold pins, ceramic. An old AMD. X5. Yep. Yeah. Now I like these these ones with the uh, little Microsoft Windows 95 logo. I like them. I got a few of them uh, even better condition than that for my own collection. But that one's going to go for gold recovery. Don't get them very often. 
Just got a nice little motherboard. Well, that was all right. You can see why I kind of get excited when I find vintage PCs on the street, because, you know, everything that I pick up from street scrapping is just a bonus. You know, the, uh, you know when I get ceramic CPU, we just don't find them anymore. So to get one, uh, really happy with the ceramic CPUs whenever I get one. Usually now, like, you don't get any when you're picking up e-waste from businesses or anywhere like that. It's only uh, old PCs that have been sitting in people's garages for years and they finally decide to throw them out. So really beautiful gold pins here, right? That's the kind of gold that we were looking for. Like these gold pins, and they're, they're okay, nothing spectacular, but these are the ones that I want from this motherboard. And the Amy Bias chip, and then the rest just goes as a motherboard after I take it off this steel plate. There you go. Well, guys, that's my street scrapping adventure for the day. Um, I hope you got a little bit of fun out of it. Uh, unfortunately, as I said, the videos didn't turn out. Most of them got cut out, the sound, so I'm working on fixing the sound issue. Uh, yeah, I lost uh, probably 80% of my video uh, had no sound, or it was so squelched out that it, you just couldn't uh, understand anything that was going on anyway. So. Yeah, so the street scrapping part was uh, all that I could salvage out of all the files. and uh, But I did get most of them. Most of the things, good things that I picked up sort of funnily turned out okay on video. Uh, but then, yeah, it started raining at the end really heavy. I couldn't see anything, so I had to go home and cut it short anyway. So, oh well, guys, that's uh, street scrapping for this week. And uh, look out for... Uh, a new street scrapping video in a few days and hopefully it's going to be uh turn out better sound and it'll all work out good keep scrapping have fun and i'll catch you next time